Rhiannon Dixon, the new WBO, WBO World Lightweight Champion. When you heard those words said by David Diamante, what was going through your mind? What does this moment mean to you? Well, I said to Anthony that I was going to do this dance, but I was so shocked that I forgot to do the dance. So, no, I, I, uh, it's just because it's been such a long camp. It doesn't feel real like it's still so fresh. So it's not hit me. And I think I'll wake up tomorrow and be like, oh, my God. I'm a world champion, I can't, and in three fights as well, well, three fights, what am I on about 10? Going from Commonwealth, European, now world champion, what? From white collar, this is my 17th fight, not counting street fights. <laughs> when you think about the past, when you were juggling your job with boxing and then you made the decision to make boxing your full-time job, is this what vindicates that decision, all the sacrifices you've put in to here now with that belt around your arm, that's what it's all about. It's, yeah, I mean, when, when I was doing pharmacy and boxing, it was kind of like giving half to one and half to the other and I wasn't doing either justice. Um, so I was really grateful that I was able to get sponsorship and Matchroom helped me out as well so that I can train full time. And then from that moment, I was like, well, you're putting everything into it. You're only young ones. You have to be a world champion. And oh my God, I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> Just talk about the run as well. Obviously, you spoke about the European Commonwealth run to now jumping up to the world title level. How were the nerves this morning, this week? You seem pretty relaxed all week, but how were the nerves this morning and getting to the arena? It's crazy because it's like, like me and Ross always say, because I watched this video and it was like the jump from, like, you know, when you're nervous, they say the jump from being nervous to calm is too big, but the jump from being nervous to excited is like more manageable. So I keep on thinking, am I nervous or am I excited? So it's kind of been like that all week. And then when I got to the arena, I'm like, oh my God, it's real. And then I put all my favorite music on in the um, changing room. I got bullied for it. So it kind of took my mind off of it. Like Callum Smith, he's a grumpiest man, yeah? Cannot, I put a proper scouse rap on for him, yeah? Didn't like it. Put MC in on for him, didn't like it. And I said, you know what, yeah? When you next fight, I'm coming in your changing room, I'm gonna go, this sucks, I hate this, and bring down the mood. Got in my head. <laughs> <laughs> and when you were growing up, when you started your professional uh, journey in 2019, and you were watching the big fights with the likes of Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano, Chantel Cameron, did you ever imagine that it would be you in these fights for the world titles? Well. When I was doing pharmacy and thing, I thought, oh, no, it's so far away. I'll just see how I get on. And then it's like when I got with Paul and Anthony and like and I've got like this whole new team around me. It's like, wow, this is real. And I want to not only do it for myself, but do it for them. And things, everything changed. My training changed. And I thought, do you know what? I am going to be a world champion. And I've been dreaming about this because obviously the fight got um, like it's been on the cards for ages so like for loads of nights i've been dreaming that i fought i've been doing like 10 rounds in my sleep waking up absolutely knackered and thinking oh my god i'm in my bed i haven't even won it yet and then now i've done it and do you want i actually did it better in my dream than i did tonight so i wish i would have done it the way i did it in my dream should have listened to dream me <laughs> when you headed down in that third round what was going through your mind you, you did your classic you ran back to the neutral corner were you, what was, was the game plan just to, to box smartly? You didn't want to rush in and, and go for broke? What was going through your mind in that well, moment? Yeah, well, they tell you to go to a neutral corner as quick as you can, right? So I sprint because I don't want them to like get any more seconds for it to like come to consciousness. But everyone takes a mick out of me. I can't even be bothered seeing these pictures after it because everyone... But yeah, um, and was like, oh, do this, do this. And then he was saying like, he was saying before, you know, you kind of run around like a little headless chicken, like you can't believe it. You just need to calm down a bit. And yeah, I probably need to do that. Like sometimes I'm like, oh my God, I did it, hands are stone. <laughs> and then, yeah, probably just need to have a bit of a reality check at the time and just calm down. But yeah. How, how, did, how did you assess the rest of the fight from there on out? You, you, you love to trade, we know that. Yeah got that dog in me haven't I keep on saying it no um yeah little chihuahua no um I was just thinking god you're doing this I'm making it hard for myself every time I was getting back to the corner I was thinking what are you doing you weirdo like, why are you making it so hard for yourself get your legs moving you little fatty but uh, <laughs> no um I know I can do a lot better and I get down on myself and I don't want to seem ungrateful but I'm just so self-critical and I just need to kind of like live in the moment and I'm never going to get this moment back again where I've just won my first world title. Um, so I just need to be a bit less, I don't know, I'm a perfectionist. But that is important, I guess, because now you've, you've reached the summit, there's going to be more tougher challenges to come and you can't rest on what you've done already. You need to keep improving and you obviously have that, that attitude. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, we're going to go to the gym 
watch it back, I'm going to cringe so much, probably cry and throw up. And then <laughs> Dom will be like, all right, let's go through things that you did wrong. And I was like, I did this, 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 and this. So, no, it's time to, um, I'm excited to get back in the gym and build on from it. Right, I'm just going to bring in Anthony Cruller. Anthony, Anthony. Don't run away. Come on, come in. Go on the right. Go on the right, okay. Anthony, yes. how, how proud are you of Rhiannon I'm for what she's done tonight I'm and also this journey? Proud of her. I give her a load of stick and stuff like with Joe, but I'm so proud of her. And um, all joking aside, we joke about being a world champion coach and that, but it wouldn't have happened if it weren't for this girl. And massively, massively proud of her. And she's so like, yeah, she's so great art in there tonight. And um, she's honest as well. There's so much improvement in her as well. She wasn't even at her best tonight. I mean that, but she's world champion and um, it's an amazing story. How special is it for you both as well that you obviously had so many great memories here and for Rhiannon yeah. to also win the world title here as well? This is this is one of the great nights at the arena for me and it's one I'll remember forever with the team, some of the team who were in the back there, you know, good friends of mine and people who was on my journey with me. So to do it here at the arena with Rhiannon, it means the absolute world to me. And they're not there, but my mum and dad are over there and I know what it will mean to them. So, yeah, super proud of her. Rhiannon, you mentioned it in the week that Anthony was 28 when he won his world title. You're 28, soon to be 29 next week. But you did yours at the first attempt. Is that bragging yeah. rights for you? I didn't even mention that. So I, uh, he's I also, I look a lot younger than you. When I was 28, I looked well younger you than you. You definitely did. I actually did. Definitely did. Didn't. If you get up for comparison, I look no, younger than you. Please get up for comparison. Because yeah. I put some cream on every day. You've aged really badly. I disagree. <laughs> What would Fine you like mind. to see Rhiannon do next? Um, I said, obviously, a defence. Yeah, put fucking hands up. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Yeah, he's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's... Um, no, it's in a defence. And then we look at, you know, we'll look oh, at... Oh, you meant defence. No, defense. no, no, oh, right. no. No, no, no. No, defending her world title. Like you're saying now, and I think she had great support in there. I think it'll only get bigger now. She's got an amazing story. Um, defence, and then um, we'll look at unification. Maybe a cheeky Katie, Katie Taylor call out at one point. He knows, he knows, Katie's uh, no, she's a legend, isn't she? I know. Uh, I don't even know who would want to win that, you know. You, we would want Katie to win, he's told me multiple <laughs> times. Congratulations to the pair of you and also Rhiannon, amazing yeah. tonight. Thank and you. See you later. Cheers, guys.